Hello everybody, I'm Theodore and today we're going to explore more of OpenFOAM. So in the last videos, or if you've seen our last videos, uh, we were just doing the incompressible flow tutorial to kind of just do the basic, the basic kind of uh, exploration of OpenFOAM. That's the most basic functionality of OpenFOAM and this represents a lid driven cavity flow. And what does it actually look like? Well, if you studied uh, fluid mechanics before, well, this diagram should help you a bit. This is a 2D fluid flow. And so there are three walls that are stationary in this gray boundary. Three walls stationary in this boundary. And the top wall is actually moving to the right at one meter a second. And so, the wall on top is moving to the right at one meter a second. And this uh, solver, which is called Icoform, is a very special, simple kind of solver meant for, look here, laminar, isothermal, and incompressible flow. It hardly ever gets more simple than that. And this will be a you know, steady state kind of a solution. But let's say you want to run uh, more complicated scenarios. So let's take a look. Yeah, let's say you want to do uh, incompressible flow or let's say a, a heat transfer problem or a transient heat transfer problem with convection and all that kind of stuff that's going on. How do you do it? Well, you may think, oh, okay, first I'm going to look at the tutorial bit. And then you see the introduction, you see incompressible flow, you see compressible flow, you see multi-phase flow, you see stress analysis, and whoops, there's nothing left. Well, if you go to openfoam.org, you see whether there's a heat transfer tutorial. And it's a slightly different code from the openfoam.com. Uh, let's see. User guide. Yeah, so... Let's take a look and see whether they have all these heat transfer stuff. Now, look at the cases. No, 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 no. Okay, let's take a look at their tutorial bits. See, they only have the lid driven cavity flow, stress analysis, breaking of a dam, and that's it. And you're wondering, hey, where's all the other stuff that you want to do? Where are the tutorials? seems that the documentation is a little lacking in this area so and it can be very confusing so no worries uh, this uh, this video is to help us learn how to run any of the tutorial files in your open form tutorial folder now let's go this is my root folder I'm going to change directory to open form files this is my custom folder I've made. If you watched the last videos, I've just copied my tutorial files into this folder. Bam. And let's ls and look at what we have here. So I've been playing around with OpenFOAM quite a bit. So besides cavity, I have lots of other things here as well. Like cylinder, see, I can, uh, all these uh, cylinder reacting, original, elbow, blah, 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 blah. So all this stuff I'm highlighting. Uh, this is actually not uh, filmed inside the last video, so we can just ignore it. But what I want to show you, let's say, let's go to the cavity folder. Oops. CD cavity. And let's take a look. Now, we have a system folder constants and all this, right? Hmm. Yeah. So normally what we do to run is we need to run our block mesh, we need to run then we need to run our ICO form. And then we can do this. But uh, let's change directory to the form tutorials. Okay? And here's our tutorial folder. And let's go into incompressible. And we look in the ICO form. And we go to the cavity. Now, if you look at this, you can see that there is a 
there are a few things here. There's a cavity folder, there's a cavity clipped folder, and there's a cavity grid folder. And then they are all clean and all run. So, yeah, if you go into the cavity folder, that's all you have there. But, can you see this? All clean and all run. All clean and all run. These are actually uh, scripts written in Bash that can help us to run our tutorial files. So, you don't have to go and think about which solver to uh, click or whatsoever for your tutorials. You just uh, run the all clean and all run code. And this video is to show us how we're going to do that. So let's change directory up. And we we'll want to copy hmm. So, yeah, we want to go to the cavity folder and we'll want to copy all these all clean and all run, whatever this thing is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to control C this directory. I'm going to change directory to the root folder, which is my the, like the so-called desktop or something like that. So CD, you just press CD and press enter. It will bring you to this directory. And then we go to open form files. So, I'm going to copy this whole I icoform uh, folder here. I'm going to right click CP, I uh, have to type CP space then dash AR to copy the whole folder. And you right click this directory. And then we'll put, uh, let's say, icoform. Alright. So that will copy this, uh, all this into this icoform folder. So let's go into this icoform folder. Now, we see this uh, cavity, cavity clip, and cavity grid. Now let's run the all run script. So to run the all run script, we just type full stop or dot forward slash. Okay, full stop forward slash, then all run. And press enter. Now, you see all this script is going to run open form for us. So let's look at what this script is actually doing. It's going to run block mesh on the cavity file first, then icoform, which solves the cavity file. And then it's going to clone cavity find from cavity. And it's going to run block mesh, map fields, and icoform. So it's going to run all these. Okay. And then it's going to run block mesh again on this. Uh, cavity grid uh, for file icoform and now uh, what this uh, script is doing is going to clone another case from this cavity file it's going to copy and paste as this uh, high cavity cavity high re or high Reynolds number so Reynolds number so it's going to set this blah 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 it's going to copy run block mesh on icoform and all this kind of stuff Okay, so after this whole script is run, what is this uh, file going to look like? You can see, cavity, cavity clipped, cavity fine, cavity grade, cavity high Reynolds number. So let's look at cavity. We we'll have all the data here, plus in fact we have a log. So let's go look at the log icoform using the vi, VI file. So I'm going to type vi space log icoform. So all I, I'm doing here is just change directory to this cavity file, which is our normal cavity file that we are already familiar with. And we are looking at this uh, log that this script has generated. Okay. Okay, just ignore that. Okay, let's take a look. See? The cavity log, it will tell us what this uh, solver has been doing. <coughs> Excuse me. Now tell us what this solver has been doing so you can like backtrack uh, if there's any errors uh, in this thing. So that's what the log is for. So that's a very useful thing since there's no like output you can see on this uh, bash terminal or Ubuntu terminal. You can see it in the log. Okay. So let's take a look at cavity high Reynolds number. 
So I'm going to type CD cavity high. I'm going to uh, press tab to finish it. So I'm going to show you again. Cavity, I'm going to press H and press tab and that will finish it. And enter. Let's take a look. Uh, we see here there's also another few time steps that are being taken. So again, there's a log there and a block mesh log and an ICO form log. So these are some of the things. And all you need to do to finish this is just to do touch cavity. So the touch file is to help generate a paraview readable file. So I'm just gonna type, I'm just gonna follow the name. Cavity high Linux number high re dot foam. Okay. So uh yeah, that's running the file. Now you may be wondering what this all clean is for. Now all clean it does the opposite, so called opposite of all run. Well, actually when you started uh, all these files, you notice that there aren't any. When you started running these files, there there wasn't any of these uh, data plots. What all clean does is to um, just clean all this up basically. So. If you, if let's say you have already done the reading of this in a Paraview, so you can actually copy and paste this whole folder into Paraview. So what I'm gonna do, yeah, let's say I'm going to this uh, place, the shortcut I was showing you earlier. I'm going to Icofoam. Let's say I copy and paste this and view it in Paraview. So I'm just gonna do that now. I'll paste it here. This is my open foam file. You see, I've been doing lots of experiments, but just ignore that. Uh, hair review. So I'm going to take a look at this first to see what it's like, and then later I want to clean it up. All right, so let's go to desktop, and let's go to this is your own. That's my own uh, open phone file. Cavity Hiari. Okay, let's take a look. And let's take a look at the, the velocity, for example. And step, 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 step. Okay. So you see the velocity profile is actually like changing over time. Okay. And let's, uh, yeah. So this is just uh, uh, some visualization of the data. Now, you're yeah, going to ignore the... Huh? We're gonna ignore how we're gonna actually visualize the data for this video. So let's say you have done all this uh, post-processing stuff. You have seen all the data you need to see. So what do you do next if you want to actually get the the file that is already clean? So let's go. Oops, I need to go back to file. Okay, see the icofoam. Okay, let's say you have done all the experimenting you want, you have done all the data you want, and you want a pristine, cleaned up, original tutorial file without all the extra data. What are you gonna do? You're gonna just uh, type full stop or dot forward slash all clean. Voila. So it's gonna clean up all the cases. And you're going to end up with the original ones. So you see there's cavity, cavity clipped, and cavity grid. So let's change directory to the cavity to see if there's anything there. There's nothing there. So I'm going to uh, do a quick demo again. Let's run the uh, all run. It's going to run very quickly. And we're going to see the, the cavity. And see? All the data is there. 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5. So I'm going to do all clean and that's going to clean all this up. And what does this have to do, you might ask, with let's say a heat transfer uh, kind of a problem. Okay, now I'm going to tell you what's the relevance. Now let's say you want, <coughs> let's say you want the heat transfer files that we're talking about. Okay, now we have a few things in the heat transfer. We have uh, combustion, we have Lagrangian, 
we have heat transfer and even the basic the basic part uh, it has this uh, Laplacian foam which is uh, for 3D conduction kind of problem just conduction only <coughs> excuse me yeah yeah so you have this flange case so this is just one of the uh, conduction uh, yeah this is the only conduction case that's there it's very simple <coughs> geometry so you see there's again this all clean all run thing here and the assumption here is that you have no idea how to run this uh, convection or conduction case <coughs> and um, you don't know what solver to use you don't know how to type the code that's all right. That's what this all clean and all run is for. So again, let's copy this and CD. Let's go to open form. <coughs> CPAR standard for copying. Excuse me. Stand <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, standard for copying. And we're going to put into a flange case or rather heat conduction okay let's go so we have a heat conduction and all right i think i want to remove some files just to make it easier cylinder cylinder okay Gonna clean this up. Oopsie. Okay, just clean this up. Uh, So if you want to delete multiple files, multiple files, this is how you do it. Okay. So I'm just tapping, tapping, tapping. Enter. Wait for it a while. Okay, so it's done. So now we are clean. We've cleaned up a lot of things. So I'm just going to remove one more elbow test. Okay, that's done. Remove that cavity too as well, just to avoid confusion. Okay. So we have the heat conduction bit. So let's go to the heat conduction bit, and we run our all run script again. Okay, so you actually notice that, well, what are they doing? They're running ANSYS to foam, Laplacian foam, foam to end sites, foam to end site parts, foam to VTK. So these are the so-called functions you kind of need to run to uh, actually do our, to run this conduction case. So if you want to clean up again, we do this. If not, we use the touch dot 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 whatever your name of the file is dot form to visualize the results in paraview so i'm just going to do the cleaning of the case and let's see if it uh, actually does what we can what we need to do i'm going to run and sys to foam okay so probably there are there's lots more to do lots more to learn but this uh, video is just to show you hey you can use the all run script to run any case you want because all the all the uh, settings and all the required settings are already there you can use this to run any of the files you want so in case you forget okay so one more one more I'm gonna demonstrate so 
Let's do a convection case. Okay, I'll just take any one of these buoyant simple foam. Okay. So let's try the circuit board cooling because that looks interesting. So again, you have the all clean and all run. So I'm going to go to here. I'm going to paste. I'm going to name it original. Okay, let's go. And we'll do our all run again. So there's a block mesh, there's a create baffles, and the buoyant simple foam. It's going to run for a while, so we'll let it run. Okay, we are done. So we have uh, some files here. So I'm going to touch sir board.foam and here we are so let's just uh, visualize it in paraview circuit board cooling I'm going to copy this over I'm going to paste it here paraview We're gonna do for a circuit board. Okay, I'm gonna delete this. This is the old file I'm working on. Just ignore it. Dum da dum da dum. Yeah. So we'll look at the temperature because that's obviously what we want to see. So one, two, three, four. Okay, it looks like a flat thing. We might want to look at volume. It's a volume thing. To help us to see easier okay one two three. okay never mind wireframe oh much better yeah can you see that so close okay so you can see the temperature profile actually changing inside this uh, circuit board this circuit board representation so to speak so uh, that's how we visualize our data and how we, we see that hey this actually works this all run uh, case can actually help us to uh, run our files uh, regardless of solver if you forget that's all right the all run will help us to will remind us what are the steps we need to do let's say there's a block mesh there's this uh, copying of this uh, zero from zero original you can see this is zero original this is where the initial conditions are from and maybe next time i'll explain more but the idea is that when you have this all clean and all run we can uh, look at how to run cases even if we don't know how to use that particular solver okay we just as a last thing i'm just going to do clean up or clean of these files and then we'll clean up the case and we are back at the original so this is how we uh, able to run almost any tutorial file that we want even though we don't see the step-by-step uh, -step given step-by-step uh, -step things given inside the openform.org or openform.com uh, tutorial folders so thanks for watching i'll see you guys next time bye bye